It's going to be at least another day before a barge and a sunken tugboat are removed from Corpus Christi Bay. Now, as we've reported, they've been in that same spot now for three weeks behind some homes over in the 4100 block of Ocean Drive. The use of them was donated to a local nonprofit for a fireworks display that ended up being canceled. Both vessels were supposed to be removed this morning, and our Nikhila Prady has more on why there has been a delay. Lee Cruz with the Texas General Land Office and the Coast Guard were at the location earlier when the man who left the barge and tugboat behind said he would begin the process to remove them. But it turns out that process took an unexpected turn. We're concerned about why the barge company owners have not come to retrieve their barge. Karen Urban has had that concern ever since May 10th when this barge and sunken tugboat first moved into the waters behind her Ocean Drive home. Yesterday, the Coast Guard and General Land Office came to check them out, determined there was no oil spill, and contacted the man responsible for the equipment who said he would remove them today. But his crew hit some rough waters on the way. The barge that was coming to do the work over at the house uh, started taking on water while they were in transit. Fortunately, a staff member at the Marina del Sol condos along Ocean Drive noticed them. He saw them having some trouble out there and got on the radio and called them and brought them in and was able to give them a pump to dewater their vessel. Another silver lining, this vessel isn't completely down and out, but it will stay at Marina del Sol overnight, while this barge will remain in Corpus Christi Bay for at least another day. West McDaniel from the General Land Office says the crew expects to head out first thing in the morning to start removing the barge. He also tells us he doesn't expect to issue any violations because there was no oil spill and the vessels will be moved. Lee. I thank you very much, Nikila. As we learned today, the man who left the barge and tugboat out there owns about half of the sections that were used to assemble that barge. The rest of the components are owned by a Houston-based company called Flexaboat, and it is in contact with the Coast Guard about retrieving the sections of that barge that belong to it.